fury. Fight one of the seven. I hope it's not empty. <laughs> Pretty. Come and get it. Oh, that's mine! I would be remiss in my duties if I didn't point out that even with the talisman, locating the other deadly sins will prove a challenge. Finding envy was easy enough. That was a gift. One I would not count on receiving twice. 
Envy was also by far the weakest of the deadly sins. Anything else to add? Only what I assume you already know. The armies of both Heaven and Hell have cordoned off the world of man into various areas of influence. Look around us. The upheaval we have seen is the very personification of the struggle between order and chaos. You have set for yourself an unenviable task, given these environs. That's what makes it fun. The other sins are hiding across this shattered world. They strike at angels and demons alike in their own selfish bids for power. Their hubris will lead me right to them. Perhaps. But you will need assistance. Whatever I need, I will take, Watcher. I knew that war would one day unleash all this. But see, his gifts are impressive. May I remind you, Mistress, that you have no peer among your horsemen, brethren. <laughs>
Perhaps there are human survivors. Not my concern. <laughs> That tree, it's impressive, but is it just me or is it out of place here? It is a maker tree. Most likely we will find refuge there. Miracles. Says the demon who announces his ambush. Ah, it was not my intention to do battle, horseman. Ah, well, such a passionate little thing, aren't we? Do not test my patience. Very well. War is too hazardous an occupation for myself, horseman. I am here in the name of blind capitalism. I am Baldwin, merchant of the damned. A trader who deals in souls for profit. Even in the face of the apocalypse, one must endeavor to earn a living. And whose souls do you trade in? Angel, demon, or even human. All souls have value to me. I've seen the trail of bodies you've left in your wake. What would I require from you? That depends. What are your needs? Information. The Seven Deadly Sins. Whispers on the wind say that the fabled horsemen are but pawns in a larger game. Victims of a grand setup. What do you know? I know that the first one's free. Call for me if you have souls to trade, and perhaps you will consider my wares valuable. your time. As you wish, this will be fun for both of us. As you wish, take your time. As you wish, farewell for now. <laughs> Fulgrim and his demon tongue. They live to confound and feed of the scraps of a world they help destroy. Indeed they do. But despite his thirst for souls, Fulgrim may be a useful tool on this journey.
the length these roots have grown. They seem to have taken over everything. Indeed, mistress. I'm curious as to who remains here, if anyone. Greetings. Please take your time. As you wish, take your time. An excellent choice, as you wish. This will be fun for both of us, as you wish. Farewell for now. <laughs> Let me tend to our uninvited guests. The Horseman. Fury. Currently reserving the right to kill you where you stand. And you are? Surprised. I'm more than a little relieved. Call me Ulfain Blackhammer. So, you'll not be flattening me today? Hmm. A maker, are you not? I when there's something to make. Today, my skills are only aimed towards instruments of death. This is not your war. No, not theirs neither. Like your counsel, I care for balance, horsemen. Humans, frail as they be, are part of the balance. Surely you're here to help protect them. <sighs> Wrong question. <laughs> <laughs> a tribe of useless, hairless simians whose greatest talent was inventing ingenious new ways to divide and destroy one another. 
They could suffer forever or die tomorrow, and I wouldn't bat an eye either way. Then what is your business here? What do they call you? Jones. Jones. Question me again with your last breath. Huh. Look around. Look what's happened here. Do you honestly think anything scares me now? Easy, lad. This one's none for trifles. Yeah? What do I have to lose? This moronic conflict makes you all look so stupid! Angel, demon, horseman, even maker! What are you even fighting for, huh? Tell me! I like this one. You may continue breathing, Jones. Horseman, please. To have you on our side would turn the tide in ways we cannot measure. Humanity might stand a chance. While my mission does involve balance, it does not require them. I am here to root out the seven deadly sins and return them to the Council. No less, no more. What if I can help you? That bit of chain you carry could use someone. I sincerely doubt that. I'm faring quite well without any help. <sighs> of course. But in case you missed the moniker, I am a maker who specializes in instruments of destruction, chaos, and the deliverance of pain. So it stands to reason that we little Ulthane could enhance your arsenal if your horsemanship would give me the chance. In exchange for? Humanity will not survive without aid. If you come across any humans on your journey, please direct them here. Haven. It's the only place they might be sufficiently protected. Direct them? How do you expect the apes to cross a battlefield and find you? Oh, I don't. They'll need this. The bridge. Only humans can use it. One touch, they're sent to Haven. Must I touch them? I accept your offer, Maker. No, I doubt it will make your collection any less useless. <laughs> we have a non-deal, then. As a show of good faith, a gift. Wrath. Where? You seek a pit of hellstretch set in the nether, beneath the city. And please, horsemen. Yes, yes, I will shepherd the wee ones your way, pointless as it may be. We'll see. And remember, Fury, the doors of Haven stand open to any who ask. Well met, Horseman. Haven welcomes you. Finally sleep safe. Certainly committed to his cause. Ulthane, 
He is blind to what truly matters. Perhaps, yes. Just another pawn who will never understand the game into which he's been played. <laughs> and he does love the sound of his own voice, doesn't he? Not like anyone I know. Did you say something? <laughs>